Hello and welcome. We are continuing Dark Souls 2 in the overhaul mod Seeker of Fire 2. Now, last time we uh, we did uh, we did uh, it's actually like called Strap Crown of the Sunken King, I think. And yes, then uh, so we killed Sin, the the Dargon with toxic fire breath. And then I said we would uh, go to Shrine of Amana, so let's do that. Because that, for some reason, I kind of forgot about this this place, or, or the fact that I we that we actually unlocked it already. So let's do this. Hello. All right. Let me do this while we here. There we go. We'll pick that up later. Look at that idiot. Oh my god, that's the stamina ring. That's what we've been what we've been missing this whole time. Uh I think we can drop this. Although this is like this is good for cleaning out zones, just you know, without having to heal constantly. Uh what is this? This is the increases physical attack. Nah, yeah, let's oh fuck, that's not what I meant. Let's uh yeah. Let's put this on. This is definitely better. Alright, that's a pretty big find, kind of. <laughs> kind of regret that we didn't go here earlier. That would have been useful during some of these boss fights. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, that's a huge deal. Like, stamina is, like, obviously so much important. So important because it just allows you to move around and do things so pretty much in every Dark Souls game you want to pick up the stamina shield and the stamina ring it's like a you might never use this shield and you will you will still wear it for most of the time just passively not soul Okie dokie, now this place is a... Uh, is an absolute fucking nightmare. In the... In the vanilla game. Not this part specifically, it's more the, the latter part. That uh, comes up later, obviously. <laughs> And they give you the flame butterfly because with the torch it's it's much easier to see the edges of the of the ground. And no, you cannot swim in this game. So if you fall into the deep water, you just die. All right. Well, the positive thing is that we're one-shotting everything. It seems so. That should. Make certain things easier. Now you can see these like firefly like bugs. They like mark these dudes waiting in the in the water. They sort of like swarm around them. That's how you can tell that they're there. Singer's dress. Oh my god, we have... Right. Yeah, there's a pretty dress you can wear in this game. Uh, hang on. Where is it? Hang on. Let me just kill this guy. First. Is it? Uh... 
Oh, we also have the flower skirt. It's very... <laughs> it doesn't quite work that well. If you don't have the other parts of the of the set. Uh, hang on, didn't we wear like a... Yeah, we wore this. Hold on, where's the singer's dress? Did I not... How did I not see it? Should make this area with pink luminescence instead of blue. <laughs> nah. That would be... I don't know. Oh, it's not... <laughs> okay, I thought this would be a little... A little prettier. It's not... <laughs> uh... Wait, no, right, we did. We had this. <laughs> Get the full flower set. Oh, yeah, well... I don't... You know what, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if there is a full flower set. Because I remember doing like a... This was off stream, this, this was just like a... Just me trying to do like a different build completely from what I usually do. And I did like a cosplay of... Uh, of Yuno Gasai from Mirai Nikki anime. And I tried to like... I think I just, I only had the, the skirt. I don't think there is a top. I might be mistaken. But I seem to remember using the, the, the skirt and something else for the chest part. Hmm. Uh. Oh, hey, she's here too. And you're here too. There's a chest. That would be a really funny place to put a mimic in. We knew you were coming. And stop singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever, as we always have. I can hear somebody long, walking around. Long ago, we know nothing of the world outside, and why should we? For we will never leave. Do you seek King Vendrick? Yes. But what is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside, for we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we can. When we sing, this. Yeah, so the little ones are the, the fireflies. When also, we sing, I'm. Hang this. on. I once again. Fuck. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot to do this. So, just like she said, the little ones are the little fireflies that grant comfort to the. Weird monsters that swarm these lands. It's kind of an interesting <laughs> concept. She's like, "Oh, you're seek, do you're seeking Ki King Vendrick? What is a king actually?" <laughs> Hello. Let me grab a torch after all here. Yeah, see? She stopped singing, so some of these that were still left that we didn't kill suddenly came after us. 
Because they were no longer comforted by the little ones. For they stopped dancing. And now they're gonna stop, start dancing again. Oh my god, it's that tree thing again. Still don't know what that's supposed to be. Exactly. Well, that's gonna be annoying. You know what? I'm gonna put on this ring after all. Because I remember this place being a bit of a slog at times. Okay, so it looks like didn't, this didn't change. So they're definitely changing this place already quite a bit. These bitches seem to be like bugged or something. They're not doing anything. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright. I don't know if this does anything at all. Okay, hang on. There's another torch up ahead, so... I don't even, like, recognize this model. I don't know where this is... I don't know where this is from. It kind of looks like Aldia, the weird tree flame monster you see later. Just without the like the fiery particle effects. Kind of. It's hard to tell exactly. See how fast the stamina recharges now. And a dried root. Yep. Nothing here, okay. So actually one reason why it's why these flowers emit blue light or why it's like aesthetically fitting to the to the whole place is that these like uh, I don't know, these ladies that are just standing around doing nothing that appear to be glitched, they normally like snipe you from afar with uh, like blue spell missile basically oh. so it fits with the over 
with the old overall aesthetic. Ring of Prayer. It's probably something like... I don't know what it is. Increases faith. Spell missiles is crazy. Well, I just mean like projectiles, right? That's what the like. <laughs> I don't mean like rockets or something. <laughs> huh. Okay, this is different. Somewhat. Oh okay, yeah, I don't think nobody is gonna. Okay, so this is quite a big change here, and I don't think anybody's gonna miss what usually is here in this mod. <laughs> so what, what normally is here, I should explain, is, you know, we just kill these weird, like, octopus mushroom things. Normally there's like a huge one blocking the path here kind of surrounded by a bunch of small ones and they emit this once again this orange smoke that uh, destroys your equipment pretty fast and it's like it's so annoying getting through this <laughs> it's like you either have to s oh this that's new so you either have to like snipe them from afar or just kind of like Go nuts. Try to get lucky and shit. But it's very... Elizabeth Mesh. Oh, she doesn't talk though. So that doesn't lead anywhere. Interesting. Alright. It's fine. It would be cool if she like talks or did anything because this way she's just like a prop <laughs> you know but you know sure still a little more ties with the first game why not oh you know what i might be actually thinking of a different place yeah yeah, yeah. no this i don't think this is the the place i was thinking of Oh yeah, I think that part, it, it's a little bit later, actually. Ah. Yep, there they are. Although they look... Yeah, they changed them, they like... Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so they replaced them with something else here. And indeed, what I sort of expected after everything else. It seems to have made this easier. Because normally you're just getting sniped here by like three or four different Idiots. Well, those spell ladies, basically, and it's a bit of a nightmare. Which tree branch? Which tree belt? What the hell? Well, can't use any of them. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this is just infinitely easier now, once again. So imagine trying to kill them and while, like, getting shot at from, like, three more enemies, at least, usually. Oh, hello. Somebody's behind me as well. Also, the big statue guys from the Hades Tower are here. So, the way it's set up, like, you have to take them down, right? And they're, they're pretty sturdy, they're pretty, like, resilient. So, it it can be kind of difficult. Although, I guess at this point, you have pretty strong weapons. So, the, the, But they, the point is, they take at least two hits, typically. <laughs> during which you're getting sniped all the time. More of these. So interesting, these are enemies from the snow DLC. Also, there's a Dragon Rider mini boss here. <laughs> Resplendent Light. Dragon Ball. Uh, gee, I want to say there was something else here. And I want to say it opened only after... Oh, well, maybe this is somewhere else, actually. There's the tree again. Yeah, so... You see the, the lady just bowing down, praying to the tree or something? So those are normally here, and they shoot you with, with spell missiles. And over here... Oh, yep, there it is. Yep, see? So now imagine like five more of these. What the fuck is... Okay. That's new. I'm still, like, completely uncertain as to what the hell is this supposed to be or do. Yep, there's... oh god. I think that's still better than what you usually get here, which is those uh, giant hippos. That are just pain in the ass to fight in this, in this like, tall water, basically. Or deep water, I should say. <laughs> Love that echoing gasp she made when she died. Yeah. I mean... So normally this place is really tough to go through, actually. It's... 
I think during Drunk Souls I got pretty drunk here. And like the reason is it's it's just like so unrelenting. It's like you get in here, you immediately get attacked and from all kinds of places. It's it's, it's kind of tough. Like you might start panicking or something, you know. Right on the edge. Um, so this is just, once again, like, just so much more, so, like, so much less difficult, let's put it that way. Can we pick it up? I'm gonna just kill her first. So they still placed a few of these in here, but it's not, it's nowhere, nowhere as like oppressive as it usually is. Uh, what the fuck? I had no idea they can do that. Come on. Is he stuck? We got hit a little bit. Once again. Still better than the fucking hippos. They are so, those are just so annoying. Okay. Now we gotta be careful here. That is a mean setup, holy shit. I think I just... Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Holy fuck. How did it get so ugly all of a sudden? So we almost... I think I almost fell down there. Okay. Does anybody sell flame butterflies? that she's doing she like she's like charging something don't know what though Okay, some more spells. Oh my god, it... Yeah, I thought this was like a little more... 
treacherous. I think they added this in. Normally you can just fall down here. Also, I'm pretty sure... Did they just remove this? I thought you could, like, walk up, like, one of these beams. But this doesn't lead anywhere now. So I'm not even gonna try this. Okay, well... Anyway... Pretty sure there was something else here. But I think okay, anyway. I think what they what they did just overall. And I've talked about it a little bit before. They just uh, kind of implemented these the DLCs a little more into the vanilla game. Because I think, if you remember that cave, I think normally you can only get there once you have like all three crowns from the from the DLCs, and then you actually get the like the Vendrix crown, which makes you immune to hollowing. Which I mean, it's kind of pointless at that point because. Yeah. Like, you can keep the item, but I think even if you, like, start NG+, plus, you still, you still, like, need to get the crowns from the DLCs again for that to work. So it's kind of immune to hollowing sounds OP. It is, but, like, usually at the point where you get it, it's like you need to go through all three DLCs. You need to get into, like... You need to get pretty far into the base game as well. So at that point, it's like... You know, you're usually pretty strong at that point anyway. So it's... You're probably not gonna be dying... That much... Anymore. Fuck. Well, that was cool. This is a troll zone. It's kind of hard to tell if this if you can walk on this or not. Hang on. Okay. You can walk on this. Oh, Jesus, they cursed you so much faster now. Wait, can you actually cross this now? I don't think you can. Oh, there's a chest though. Dark fog. Oh, hold on. That sounds like something. Uh, wait, why am I doing here? Ugh. There. <laughs> sounds like something. Our alley. Dark dance. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, we already had it once. Oh. Oh, well. Alright. Well. 
That's it. Don't want to get too close near these. Things to. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, are these supposed to be maybe other Milfanitos or something? Because I don't think these corpses are normally here. I'm not sure, but maybe another. Milfanito is here normally. Again, though, not entirely sure about that. So, I gotta be careful here. Just a few drops. Oh, you know what? No, this is the this is that cave. Okay, I think. Okay, bye. Okay, calm down, everybody. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's another one of these. My weapon is kind of dim damaged a lot. Oh, that's a tough one. You know what? Let me just pick this up. Judgment. Fuck me. I don't fall into whatever. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't like fully agree with like how they made most of these places like way easier. Like, sure, I'm still, like, three down to three Estes. And I had to, like, use a few things here and there. But it's really nothing compared to what it usually is. About you, are you gonna do something? No? I think they're glitched. This is. Hmm. 
I like this inclusion of <laughs> pile of bones. <laughs> Normally it would be just a just a corpse lying there. Okay. Although I have a suspicion this might lead to the other entrance that we uncovered earlier. Okay. So it seems looking like just... Oh, see that big motherfucker over there? The mushroom octopus weird thing? That's what normally like... What's normally blocking your way if you're entering through the cave here? Okay, so it so you can like bypass it. Uh, let's let's go back and see how the usual way you get there is now. Alright, so just, uh... Oh! Fuck off. Oh, it's the dude from... Da da Dark Souls 1. What the fuck is that? What the hell? <laughs> I don't even want to know what that was. Oh, you know what? Is that how they made this more difficult? They removed this bonfire. Yeah, there's normally a bonfire here. Yep, yep, yep. So that's how they did it. Well, well, well. Yep, there it is. Can I just... Yeah, see? You don't want to get near that. Like, fuck that noise. Okay, so I guess these are not glitched. I think this is some sort of... It's supposed to be some sort of narrative thing. Like they're just peaceful caretakers or something.
homing soul mask. Spear plus five. Hello, Echo Knight. You died. You know what? I actually haven't died yet. No stream. And now that I have jinxed it, uh, it's a certainty that I will die. <laughs> So I wonder if this is that other entrance that we uncover during previous streams. You know what? Let's see. Because I'm pretty sure this is the this leads towards the boss. So let's see if we can get anywhere. Through here, nope. Ooh, careful. Oh, there we go. Like this part, you're excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Alright, seems like it doesn't lead anywhere else. Oh, okay, so they put a bonfire here at least. Oh. Is she normally this? If I recall right, this is the painful area of souls, right? Well, it is. But we're we we're through really mostly and this mod just made it like way easier hmm interesting what is this oh it's the witch uh Well, like a little bit off from a from a level up. So the boss that's in there is, I think, one of my favorite designs. Not in terms of like fighting or like the, the difficulty or anything, just aesthetically how fucking weird it is. There. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Hang on, I need to actually. Like, I don't know. Oh my god, do we not have anything in between? Oh, Jesus. We're running out of the small souls. That's weird. Oh my god, we're straight up not gonna have... Ugh. Yeah, I'm, that's not gonna do it. Okay, fuck it, let's spend this. How much is this gonna be? Okay, yeah. Bear seek seek less. Bear seek seek less. So what are we doing? I think we're just pushing strength up to 40. Oh yeah, we wanted to right, we went to power stands the ultra great swords. And we need to get up to 42 strength. Sure. I think we're getting uh, to a spot where we're pretty just strong overall. So I don't mind just dumping a bunch of points into whatever we like. 
Roy's resting place. You know what? Do I actually? Hang on. Yeah, no. All right. Let's see it. Let's see if this stayed the same. Actually, how come? Oh yeah, that's because. <laughs> well, that's the that's the plot twist, isn't it? It's not the Milfinito singing. It's something else. Song demon. Yep. <laughs> Look at this weird fucking abomination. It's an oversized skeleton wearing a frog costume. How many fucking combos are you gonna have? Again, it's not much of a fight, it's just <laughs> aesthetically, it's one of those weird Japanese things. Fuck! Alright, still hit it. Be careful. And it's over. <laughs> oh, it didn't even do the do its like signature move. The freaking frog body slam. So what it does is it like leaps up in the air and just like slams down on you. Yeah, it's disturbing but cool. Unfortunately it's not in terms of the fight itself, it's there's nothing there, really. <laughs> Alright. So that's that. Why is it so sh bright all of a sudden in here? Look. The game suddenly gets like super bright in this spot. It's like... Zoop. Okay. And I think this... Yeah, I think this will put us... So could we have done this in reverse? I don't think that would do work that way. Oh yeah, so there's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait. So no, this is something else. What was it? No, 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 there was this big elevator, right? But this guy was petrified, I think. Oh, was it a different... Am I just mistaking it for a different guy? I don't know, yeah, we've, we've been here. Definitely. Yeah. Raw stone. But there was a bonfire that we couldn't use, right? Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now we get down here. And there is the bonfire that we can't use, I think. Yeah. You're gonna say something different now? You silence that cursed singing. 
Okay. Jesus, I accidentally these, pressed the kill button. <laughs> the little ones were born from the great dead one. And the great dead one taught us song. We have sung Nito. To come, this is what we... Oh my god. Is it... I think I've heard this before. But it just clicked with me that they're called Milfanito. And they would. They, they were born from Nito, the. one of the bosses in Dark Souls 1. I just realized this. <laughs> but I think I've heard it before. But it's been a long time, so I, I, I've forgotten since. But anyway. Nito, the big, like, floating skull man that dwells. Deep in under the underground. The little ones and the we have this is what Yeah. From the great dead one. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. <laughs> it just suddenly clicked with me. They have the name in their name. So can I use this bonfire now? I still cannot. So what is this for? Oh shit, there's like a casket over there. <sighs> Alright, fuck it. I'm way too curious. It's, it's the only branch we have, but I'm way too curious. Because this is something new. So I wanna... I wanna see what it is. Also, can I use this bonfire now? That is, that's weird. I don't know why they did it that way. Oh, oh, oh. So... You know what? We never went back to the tutorial area. Where the, the other coffin is normally. So I wonder where this coffin... Well, what this coffin will do with it. Because normally, oh, you know what? I think this might be the same coffin that you climb into to like slide down to the horsefuck valley and the snow with the DLC. Okay, fuck it. Okay, so it's like a port. It's not a. It's not the. Well, now we're here. So that's what that does. That was bad. Okay. Ring of Binding. Wait. Is that the same? Interesting. You can have two of these. Although I don't think they're gonna stack. So is this... <laughs> okay. Well... That's... Interesting, but ultimately pointless. Ugh. <laughs> rawr, rawr. So in that case, the Shrine of Amana doesn't really get us anywhere, does it? Does this do anything now? Alas, nothing happened. So, I think I mentioned this before, but normally that 
that coffin on the beach in the tutorial area switches your character's gender. <laughs> it doesn't tell you. It just tells you like... It, there's like a text that shows up that says like... You feel like something happened or something changed about you. So now it's like a port between these two areas that's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. So, uh... Is there no, like... God, I, I wish I remembered how exactly these places, like, follow each other. Because I think you can... You kind of follow... Well... Gee, I just don't remember how it... I think you can get from somewhere else. Or somewhere else from here. But... So there's this big elevator, right? But, uh... Fuck, where was that? There was... Let's just see it. I need a... Bit of a reminder. Where this takes us. So it seems we're gonna have to go into the DLC again because right now the game is prohibiting us access to two remaining great souls one is the spider in the like weird sandy place full of spiders that normally like you can just progress through but right now it, we can't do that and the other one is the the, the old king the, the the balrog basically <laughs> to which we would have normally gotten already but instead it led us to the fiery dlc which makes sense that we would then get from the fiery dlc to the actual like old king area so where is this again oh right it's the other thing okay it's the other side of this deal right right right, right. okay right okay all right makes sense all right well, kind of. <laughs> it's a little bit like jumbled around all of these areas. Alright, well we did this, obviously. Let's level up. one level up and then let's see how many more do we need okay like seven and a half more So I think 40 is normally the soft cap beyond which you you get like very like limited amount of bonus from each 
attribute basically. So like for this the soft cap, so 40 plus you're still getting like a little bit and 50 and beyond is like you get either nothing or almost nothing. I knew. Uh, do we have anything we want? Well, we don't have the slab. It's in the chunks. I mean, we could upgrade this. Well, we don't have any more swords. It's very expensive to upgrade. I'll be around. All right, whenever we have like souls left over, we'll we'll try that. All right. Well, in that case, on to the other DLC. So we're gonna do the order in which I usually do these DLCs anyway, and which is actually the chronological order in which they got released initially, which is gonna be. You know, the Sunken City, we already did that. Or the Sanctum City. And now the Fiery DLC. Which has, I think, one of the... Well, it has several of the, like, favorite bosses. Well, I guess, I guess two of the favorite bosses from the whole game. Unless, of course, they get changed. So this is where we fought the Smelter Demon. The blue Smelter Demon, I should say. And right, then we took the elevator up, but... I think when there, there was like at the end of one of the streams, so I, and I couldn't find a bonfire immediately, so it just didn't go any further. There's nothing here, right? Yeah. So the mod also changes the bosses, uh, some of them. Some of them are just, they, some of them were just removed, they were just gone from the game. AKA the Dragon Rider, which is not a hugely <laughs> popular boss anyway. Uh, some of them get like kind of switched around, like, you know, they got just like moved to some somewhere else. Uh, but other than that, they're not really that much changed. I think I, especially on some of those earlier bosses, I noticed they moved a lot quicker. Some of them, at least. With these later bosses, it's not quite as easy to tell because the the later bosses are like respectable in their difficulty even like normally so I'm not uh, sure how much they get like adjusted or anything look at this though <laughs> I know we like kind of odd at this be before but still a little low res but uh, still cool And if you're wondering about the blue smelter demon I, I uh, mentioned... Oh. Oh. Can, can we actually, like... Could I drop down from here? It seems pretty high up. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, so the blue the blue smelter demon, that's, that's normally there as well. It's just you obviously access it from a 
like a in like a completely different way. Uh, and it's like a you know like a re-threat of. Oh, did I not see the? Oh, you know what? I guess I fi did find this. Yeah, because it's already lit. Never mind. There was a bonfire. <laughs> so anyway, to <laughs> make it shorter, there is a normal orange smelter demon, and late later in this DLC, in this DLC's challenge area, you fight the blue smelter demon. But since the order of the areas is changed, now we fought the blue smelter demon first. And the orange one is still yet to be found. Hope that made some sort of sense at least. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay, get kind of cut off guard. Uh, don't I have? I've, I thought we found those. Uh, what is it called? The stick stupid. Hang on. <laughs> I thought we did find them. Yeah. Smelter wedges. Destroys ashen idol. Shut up! Okay, I get. I try to see if I could like get them before they would hit me back, <laughs> but I wasn't doing enough damage anyway. I think. I think they would have like a little bit of a, a little bit of HP left still. Yep. Now we're dying. All right. Yeah, I like their placement here a lot more, I think. Because they seem like so imposing and dangerous, and yet in the normal game they're just kind of mostly in the earlier areas, which seems kind of counterintuitive. So there's an item over there, but we need to like Berserker blade. The hell is a berserker blade? Probably a sword. Oh, and it's one of the katanas. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we might have all of them now. Huh. All right. How does this work? Soul of a proud knight. Fiery lady. Be careful about them.
Where is she? I can hear her. Was one of the swords named Hidokiri? Yeah. Pretty sure it was. Is that something or someone? I don't I genuinely don't know. Yeah. An old katana with a terribly worn blade. Appears useless but is in fact coated with deadly poison. This sword, also known as Manslayer, I think that's that's what it was called in the original game actually. I remember that name. Has claimed countless victims with its deadly poison. The previous owner of this blade may have been an assassin carrying out unlawful orders. It's a funny name, pretty sure it means people cutter in Japanese. Yeah. Man's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because Hito is yeah. Person. Yeah, I think in the original game it's just called Manslayer. I do remember that name. Uh. Oh yeah, these fucking assholes come out of the ground. I remember. Oh, that's where she is. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting into the thick of the DLC. Let me just go back real fast. Uh, although I, I'm pretty sure we can't go back up anyway. Right? Yeah, no. Can only go lower. Alright. Because I was wondering about that, that elevator thing right here. I might have missed a lever that was up there. Oh well. It's so, alright, the next time we die, we do that. Hmm. Dry lips. Okay. Ooh, a ladder. How nice. She gets on a plus seven, all right. Okay. Well, it makes sense when you know the the final boss of this DLC. <laughs> oh god. Doesn't look like a mimic. just out of range. Okay. What the hell was that range? Holy cow. Oh. 
They are baiting you. <laughs> you didn't do the back slap. That backswing you can do with this greatsword is just so, so valuable. Because so many times you might like miss an enemy or like they may be left with just a couple of HP. And that's like a easy way to do a follow up attack without having to do another whole attack. So good. There he is. Fuck. I knew it. What the f fuck is that weapon? Jesus, that looks huge. Oh god, not these. Okay, hold on. So what is this way? I think that's a drop, right? Oh yeah. That is not a drop we can survive. Alrighty then. Is this your first experience with Dark Souls 2 at all? No, it's my first experience with the overhaul mod. Yes, go there. Go on. Go on. Go into the fire. There you go. Uh, hang on, I don't remember this part. This seems... Okay. Is there a... No. I think this is different. Or slightly different at least. You know what? No. That's a lot of barrels. Not touching that. Hello. All right. 
Oh, no, no, no. I remember this room, but I think it was set up differently. Yeah, I remember this layout. Yes, come hither, child. Yes, the secret of fire is the overhaul mod. No DLC is amazing, the map is incredible, except the frigid outskirt. Oh yeah, and the funny part is, in in this mod, the frigid outskirts is actually how you get into the DLC itself. So you have to go through it, although it's like, significantly changed and, I would say, dumbed down. Low the boss is just as, kind of, annoying. Oh, this is a... Get it set up. No, no, no! Fuck. Well, now we're just... Okay, just kidding. Oh, what the hell? No? Alright. Oh. Fuck! Yeah, the mod switches around quite a few things. It's not like there are any, I would say, like massive changes. I think the biggest overall change, I think, that is that the DLCs are way more incorpor incorporated like into the overall progression throughout the game. So unless I missed something significant, you're actually required to go through the DLCs to, like, actually progress through the game. It's not like the DLCs are these optional things you can or don't have to do. Now you have to do them to progress through the game. Uh, is this bonfire normally here? All those worst places in the DLCs were meant to be played in co-op, this is why they are played. I mean, yes, but I don't know. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that their default experience is play solo, including me. I, I don't ever summon unless it's for like a narrative thing, you know. So think like summoning Onion Bro in DLC in, in Dark Souls 3 for the Yorm and the Giant fight. So unless it's something like that, I don't ever do that. Oh, these are oh these fucking assholes. Oh, are you not gonna wake up? The bonfire is normal here. All right, all right. Well, sit down. Right, the, the co-op, the, the multiplayer features, I think, were really a uh, like strong part of Dark Souls 2.
Uh, do we want to go here or... Oh, yeah, this... Oh, fucking hell. Right, this room. <laughs> I mean, it's set up slightly differently. But it doesn't look like... It doesn't look easier. <laughs> the enemies are slightly different in there than they are normally. So, hold on. Let's, uh... What is this? This probably takes us down, right? So... Oh, hang on. So we need to activate this. I don't remember how these elevators exactly work. Oh, wait, like... Oh, I think we need to, like, fire up the tower, right? Or the... The furnaces, or whatever. Until then, it doesn't work. I think. Try jump attack on the closed door behind the corner. You mean the... This one? Oh, it's downstairs. Alright. Anyway. Okay. Wait, where am I going? That's not where I'm going. This is where I'm going. Okie dokie. That's where you drop down. Which game you like? You guys like to play besides Souls? Like, uh, good question. <laughs> I do play a lot of Souls-like <laughs> games. Also, doesn't open from this side. Um, I would say like, personally, I would say like RPGs. Although, like. Not all RPGs. <laughs> I really like old school Fallouts, not the new ones. Uh, something like The Witcher. I mean, here on stream we're doing a lot of like older franchises. So we went all the way through the... Through Tomb Raider. And Silent Hill. And now we're gonna go through... Resident Evil in its eternity, which will probably take eternity to go to go through. <laughs> Somebody blow up. Right, well. Oh, I think you can actually right, I kinda of forgot about this, but I think you can like make them like drop down here and then they can like explode or some shit. Currently playing The Witcher 2 for the first time, which is full of booba. Oh yeah. Witcher games do be like that. <laughs> which is nice. Uh, 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 so, alright. So, before we go down there. Well... I think the... Okay, you know what, let's just... Let's just go. Uh. Fuck! Okay, this is bad. Everybody come over here, please.
Kind of risky. All right. Some some anxiety from horror games in the chat. I see. I do love a horror game once in a while. You know what? I think you're just not worth the trouble. <laughs> just gonna let you alone. Let you be. Oh, the Silent Hill games were just... They were amazing to go through. Amazingly... Awful some... Well, not awful, it's just... Just the... Uh, whole kind of experience. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. I forgot how these guys are kind of OP. Are you not gonna come alive? Guess not. You know what? I actually tried to do a playthrough of Dead Space, but then the first Dead Space glitched in like the second room, and I couldn't get through the freaking door, so I just kind of abandoned that and uh, refunded the game. <laughs> And that was that. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was annoying. <laughs> when was that? Oh, that was like three years ago or something. That was a long time ago. Fucking hell! You also like CRPGs like Divinity Original Sin or Baldur's Gate 3? I haven't played any of them. I, I think the extent of that, or like similar games, would be old school Fallouts, like Fallout 1 and 2. And uh, that I, I think they're like kind of like that, right? And like Diablo. And I know, I know Diablo isn't like, you know, that sort of thing. Oh my god! Congrats, Atreus an Ninja. User gifted a tier one sub Thank you, Anonymous Gifted. Three. What do I think about Fallout New Vegas? Oh, I think it's great. Uh, actually, I have to... I have to admit, I never actually finished that game. And it's not that because it was bad or anything, it... I think it sort of like overwhelmed me with its content. It was just like... I got kind of fatigued by it. To be completely honest. But again, I enjoyed it way more than Fallout 3. Oh my god. Here we go again. Okay. <laughs> See, they kind of tricked me into thinking they're not gonna do that anymore. Because none of the previous ones did that. And all of a sudden this one, without any hesitation, just, just gives me the kiss of death. Oh jeez, I completely forgot how you... Uh, I think we just run through here. 
Hopefully that's gonna be fine. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh my god, do you have hundred oh my god, you get hundred thousand Zaha coins? Oh no. Do you dare? That's a good question. I'm actually not sure if I but I set it up to for it to ban you automatically or not. Cause it's been a while since I've been since I like set up these uh, these things for the for, for the channel points. So if you do it, just, just a heads up, there might not be uh there might not be going back. Like this. Can you not like jump down? Doesn't look like it. Would I lose my VIP status and sub if I got banned? Well, definitely not the sub. I'm not sure about the VIP. <laughs> I actually don't know. It's alright, we'll reinstate you if that's the case. Stop swinging! Ow! Hang on, just give me a sec. See, and this time she's just completely oblivious. So I don't get it. Okay, so I remember here a couple of enemies come out from the ground. That was very, that's like way faster than normally. Holy shit. It's like a jump scare. Soul of a great hero. Holy fuck, that's way faster, I think, than normal. There's no... <laughs> they just... Titanite Chunk. Can we move past Skyrim? I have a more uh, controversial take. Uh, can we move past Bethesda, please? <laughs> and no, I will never stop hating on Bethesda. That will never happen. The hate burns too deep. There's somebody around here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love Todd Howard. It's just amazing. What a talent. Just, you know, every time I play a Bethesda game, I'm just like, wow. Wow.
yeah i love his contributions to the fallout series especially the way he refuses to let anyone else particularly obsidian to have uh, another go at it out of fear that uh, they're gonna embarrass him and bethesda again uh <laughs> lo i love that so there's a giant douchebag that spawns here and peace. Wait, is it? Oh my god, I might be confusing it with the snowy DLC. Now I'm not sure. Uh, hang on. What's this way, actually? It really has been a while since I've gone through this game. I don't remember it exactly how this goes. Oh yeah, this is where we activate the tower. Right, yeah, yeah. And I think there's a bonfire somewhere around here. So yeah, we probably want to do this first. Yep, there it is. we do that it's locked scorching iron scepter right and that might be in the in that other tower I think Or it might be like down there where we just where we just left. Oh, fuck! Right. Now I'm gonna have to go through this again. Actually, no. All right. Fuck. Oh, did you follow me? What the hell? Alright. Don't look down! Ah. Oh no, yep. Oh my god. Oh, and it's patches in his... Oh my god. Of course it would be patches. It kind of makes sense. It is a giant asshole. No, stop! Oh my god, he's doing the same thing as... Oh my god. Fuck me. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> so normally this is a different NPC that's that invades you here. But it's... It's, it does the same thing. First fights you, and then it just runs down here into this cursed tower. Okay, almost missed. What? What are you locking on? To? Oh right, you're getting cursed down here. Ooh. We need to... Yeah, because the fucking... Evil lady is down here. Oh yeah, that's why he leads you back here. Oh. Fuck it, just do it. Just do it. Whatever. We might die. Just get rid of it. <sighs> Wait, I think there's more. Never mind. Ugh. 
try using a seed of giant if you have one in your inventory. <laughs> right. Ow, Jesus Christ. I actually do. I'm not sure if you're using Kappa because... Is this normally in Dark Souls 2? I thought this was only Dark Souls 3 thing. But, I mean, I don't know. Get slightly cursed. Hawk ring, I think. Uh, what am I doing? I think hawk ring is uh, like a bow thing. Yeah, extends the range of arrows. All right, hang on. Let's see all the things we passed on our way down here. Nothing here? No. Okay. Okay. A lawn quad. Huh. So that's completely different. This place is somewhat different. Huh. So what is this? This is nothing. Okay. Are the salamanders here? Nope. Huh. So, are we gonna get to fight Sir Alon already? It's kinda early. I have to say, it's so nice they removed the fucking salamanders. Because they are so annoying. Nothing here. I think the guy went, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we got the... We got their stuff. Are you serious? A bonfire? Try to learn something, but I can understand. How can you create a pole in Twitch? Uh, I don't think you can just, you know, uh, as a chatter. I think only streamer or their mods can do that. If you're trying to set up a pole in here. That is... Um, how much is a... Uh... 
was not trying to set up one in here. Uh, well, I don't know. It, I guess it must be some sort of... I don't know, actually. <laughs> It's probably from there like mod others. menu or something. S seek the king. Wait, we don't have enough. That is the only way. No, not the no. Well, yeah, this one. I knew you'd be around soon. Oh wait, hang on. Don't do waste my time. I'm doing it in the in the wrong order. Why is Majula music so damn good? Oh yeah. Someone uh, who was for whom the first Dark Souls game was Dark Souls 2. It's uh, definitely very nostalgic. You know what? We're not using the the ring of binding currently, but we have like a shit ton of effigy, so just use one. Yep, bear seek sea quest indeed. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler in that picture. Wait till you hear the save room music in Resident Evil, especially 2 and 4. <laughs> Alright. Can't wait. Oh, that's where the Salama- oh god. Maybe I got it kind of this Taken, confused. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Jesus Christ, that was. A... I expect this bond, this boss fight to be like way faster than normally. Because Sir Alon is like a fan favorite already. So I expect this boss fight to be kind of bonkers. Ooh, what is this for? Ooh. That... Stop, please. Destructive great arrow. What is this? Okay, you know what? Actually, fuck it. Let's just see what it is. Oh, this get what the fuck? Ah! That's a one hell of a arrival. Holy fuck. Oh, this is just what the Okay. That's different. All right, found the iron keep. <laughs> That's different. Hang on. I thought there was a... There it is. Oh, hello. How did I miss all of that? Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Well, this is interesting. It's a, again, it's a bit random. I appreciate the attempt to integrate the DLCs a little bit more into the overall progression. But this, it's kind of random, honestly. Let's just drink. But it's funny how they spawn you in the... in the room full of enemies. <laughs> it's 
kind of funny. Anyway. Welcome to the Iron Keep. What? Who what? are you? Who, me? I'm Makarold. Who else? What? 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 Can't use any of these. <laughs> We'd have to put a lot of points into like intelligence and faith to move to use more spells. Uh, all right. He's got the what is this? Short and spell, okay. And then he's got the yeah. ooh. He's, he's got a branch too. Definitely want that. I mean, eventually. A room of bang, looking for a find, following me instincts. Following me instincts. I don't care what things worth. What matters is whether it grabs me. Do I enjoy what I do? I suppose I must. I, I've been doing it for ages. There's good iron in these parts. An old king even used it to build a castle. But the thing was too heavy. It slowly sank into the ground. Imagine like that. From the earth, and, and the place turned into this. Castle so heavy it Least literally that's sinks. Talk. <laughs> Not bad story, eh? So, what it be? Anything for you today? Hey, you know that old fella with the Hulk and blue sword? Yeah. He talks really oily of it. I got a feeling it's a fake. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I just sort of talked around it. Let me just say, there are lots of legendary swords out there. <laughs> Have you heard of the shrine on the eastern edge of Drang Lake? Built to honor the dragons, they say. <sighs> yeah. I knew how to get there. I, I go and I came for goodies. <laughs> I'm mainly a treasure hunter, you see. Many a merchant on this room of bang. I don't care. Right. I don't enjoy, I suppose Very well. No pressure. So, uh... <laughs> I think this is a key normally. But it's like... Well, it's not now. It's a spell instead. Wait, so this is just straight up locked now? Well, this is just odd. <laughs> Some of these are just weird changes. Alright, well, we're already here. We might as well keep going. I expect fewer archers. Yep, seems to be the case. Oh, it's one of those exploding assholes over there. Hang on, did they add these platforms? <laughs> Was this always here? Oh, there's another one over there. Hydrate. Oh, hang on. Fighting for my life. Alright. We're good now. Thank you, Echo Knight. It is very hot in here. They're not, uh... Okay, I guess I am mistaken. Let's leave that for later. Oh! Fuck. Well, we 
got his attention. Oh, but the sorceress brought down. That's good. Okay, good. Now I feel a little more enticed to go up there. Okie dokie. Of course, I landed just. <laughs> Classic. Classic. I didn't I didn't remember there was a there was a drop there. <laughs> I wish I could redeem hydration. But 100k. <laughs> ah yes, the struggle. To meme ban yourself or not to meme your meme ban yourself. So is this still Oh yeah, I can still do that. Let's go! Get fucked! The Zap. <laughs> I think he's still going after us. Seems hooked. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I dodged. Oh my god. That was like a weird fucking instinct thing that I just did. It was just like, get out of the way of the arrow. Oh my god. That was just pure monkey brain taking over. Holy shit. <laughs> I have no excuse for that one. Holy shit. <laughs> I missed. Okay, well, let's not do that again. Let's just go for it. Let's make sure that we do not... You know what? Why don't we... I cannot lock onto him. Of course I can. That would be too easy. Yeah, look at that. There's a freaking drop there. How sneaky. This one is a little more sturdy. Alright. Thing is, we're gonna like climb up there. There's gonna be the sorceress on one side and the dude on the 
This is not ideal. <laughs> Just kidding, the sorcerer has dropped down, I think. Yeah, I think she dropped. She must have dropped down. Ring of Steel Protection. Okay, yeah, I, I think we dropped the region ring. Okay, we're 70 exactly. Alright, still fast rolling. So, what does that lever do? Oh, but there's a ladder, but it's destroyed. Okay, whatever. Ring of life protection. What did that do? I don't know. It did something. Oh, did did. Did that extend this platform? I don't know. Oh, almost missed. Look at that asshole up there. Oh my god, he's going for us. No! Okay. Oh, it lowered this part of the bridge. Okay. So I think they maybe moved that lever over here. I don't know. I don't remember exactly how it goes anymore. Oh! I did it fucking again. God damn. Oh. <laughs> Shit. And I think that was a, like a delayed actually. Like a delayed command. See, like, when you, like, mesh buttons, I think, like, few of them get sort of, like, stored in, like, a buffer, so once you finish the current action, the next one that you did is activated. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Although I think, at the very least, the bridge stays lowered, I think. I don't think that gets uh, reset. Yeah, alright. Jesus. All right. How did I miss that? Lots of brain farts, suddenly. Come on up. So we don't have to care about these guys anymore. Come on. I mean, we could just go forward, honestly. And that usually takes us to the boss. So let's... yeah, let's do that. So they actually, I think they switched the order in which the bridge is lowered. Uh, I think we go fight the boss first, and then we can uh, can uh, deal with the rest. 
left. Yeah. However, do we have a? Oh, we do not have a anti-fire ring. All right. Oh well. All right. So this should be the normal smelter demon. Normally, let's see if it stays that way. The old prince. Who the fuck are you? Oh, I know who you are. Okay. So that is not who you normally fight here. It's actually the other part of that duo boss. That's just before the final boss, actually. So they separated them and made them into uh, separate bosses. No, you don't. Whatever you were doing, you're not doing it. And I think you're dead. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> so, uh... That was a boss fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, that, so that happened. Uh, alrighty then. <laughs> Okay, there's a bonfire. Let's go back. And then we go back down and there should be a... Uh, there should be another pursuer encounter. Unless it gets moved. There, see, 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 Okay, so now we're up to 42, which should allow us to power stance ultra great swords. However, they're most likely gonna be way too heavy. Yeah, we 97% load. Uh, no, it still doesn't work. It's still not doing the thing. So we... I thought it was supposed to be... 1.5 of the requisite. Okay, I don't know why... Okay, you know what? Whatever, I guess. I don't know. I'll I'll try to look it up in, in between. Alright, so let's do what I said we would do, which is grading this huge sword. So this is now currently like three hundred oh this is still way stronger. Oh my god. <laughs> Rat row. Okay. So, let's go back. See if the pursuer shows up. Oh, yeah. There he is. He actually... Fuck, kinda caught me off guard with that. Too greedy! Recharge. Also, I'm not using the... There we go. Red eye! Easier to be detected by enemies. Ooh. So if you want to 
I can grab aggro. That will do it. Alright, anyway. Still have things to do here. Hang on, did they remove the... Oh, there's the other lever, okay. Did they remove the... <laughs> okay. There used to be an item here. Which was a bit of a tricky thing to get, because you could o easily, like, overshoot it and drop into lava. Speaking of overshooting jumps... What? We're just fine. Great. Hilarious. No. Drop down here. This is still too hot, hot, hot. So we can't do that. Oh god. I fucking did it again! But I think I did. The, that one was weird though. I think. That was strange. It seems to have like stored the roll, but then I like try to just like move to the. I don't know. That was that one was weird. I try to just like walk slightly to the, not like straight up roll into it. Get wrecked. All right, well, anyway, now the bridge is fully lowered, at least. I'm just gonna kill this guy, just... Ow. Did he drop from, uh... What the hell did he... Is there an item down here? Oh, the chest is there. Right. Okay. I think this should turn off the heat. Sword is cool and with the rose shield it's epic. Oh yeah, the, the rose shield, also known as the prolapse shield. <laughs> it's just, it, this one for once, this one isn't from my head, alright? I remember it was a whole thing in, during like other streamers uh, playthrough I, I watched like a few years ago. Alright, this one isn't from my mind, from my dirty mind, alright? Just saying, it's it. It can't. It kind of looks well. Anyway, um. 
Uh, Alright, we don't need to go here. Man. <laughs> Holding my bonk stick back just barely. I just said it wasn't even... It d didn't come from me. I, I just saw it somewhere else. And, uh... Well, I do kind of take some pleasure from uh, disturbing you guys. Just, uh... It's kind of funny. <laughs> In its own way. Anyway, we can move on now. There's nothing uh, else to do here. Pretty sure. I do have a dirty mind. But I'm not that dirty to, to come up with this on my own. Alright? For once, it's, this one isn't on me. Yeah. So this douchebag breaks the shield. Breaks the bridge, rather. But you can... One four three is a higher good. Hang on, does one four three mean something? How can I see it as a rose after this? See, I just you know, I just didn't want to be alone in it, you know. So I just kind of. What the fuck is that over there? No! Oh! No, they didn't! Fucking salamanders, really? Oh. Hello. Oh, look at those assholes. Um, no pun intended. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm also not sorry. <laughs> Okay, so here we have another PvP area. For the princess! Uh no. Be gone right! I just wanna ding the bell. Just let me ding the bell. Okay. Kinda of change them up. Is this aiming at anybody? Oh well I don't well maybe Oh yes it is Yes it is There we go Oh and there's this there's that invade there over there. Yeah that's who you normally fight here. Yeah yeah there There she goes There she went. <laughs> Hang on, am I slow? No, I'm not slow. Bro. Why not, after all? There's no 
nobody in here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the NPC. <laughs> okay. It wasn't quite as impressive. <laughs> Ding dong! I remember grinding here for the for the achievement. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. So anyway, what does one four three means mean? Some sort of new meme. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? These little buggers can do a surprising amount of damage. Okay. We cool. You know what? Let me put on the... There we go. 143 is an expression of love and appreciation because I love you has one, four, and three letters. Oh. Well, thank you. It's because I saw it, I think, on Twitter somewhere, and I wasn't really. I had no idea what it meant. <laughs> so now when you use it again, I was like, hang on. This isn't just somebody's weird typo of using, like, numbers instead of. Instead of letters, this means something. Okay, bonfire. Interesting, so they kind of reshuffled this as well. This is not... Yeah, this is just changed. They changed the way this whole thing kind of works. Okay. Thank God. Almost hit the chest. Patches! Would you kindly fuck off? Jesus Christ. And of course he joins you. Well, now you're alone. What are you doing? Going to do now? Oh God! Honorable, my ass. Get it, my ass. Anyway. Uh. So this should lower some of them, I think. Oh yeah! <laughs> Fuck you! Very effective! 
Alright, and... What the fuck was that? Where did you... Okay, I think we can uh, bring it back up. Now that everybody who was on those platforms is dead. Nice and clean, that's how I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Petrified dragon bone. Huh, so hang on, let's see where this leads to. So this see this area seems to be one another one of those that got quite a bit changed. Uh, all right, don't need that. And th yeah, okay, this leads up here. I remember this. Out of stamina! Iron flesh. Okay. So I think that's... That's where we wanna go, but... Master's flask shard. Also, lovely thing, you can go back up here. Normally that's... You can see it, how it's like added up here. Normally it's like a straight drop and then you have to go down there. I like it. I like it. Although, arguably... The other way around makes you think a bit more about your choices. And sort of goes along with the theme of... Uh, you know, similar to when you like... Die. Or like, you know, just, just when there is like no, the, the game like prohibits you from kind of trying to go back on your decisions. And this, this kind of like takes it to uh, step back, but I think when we're talking about replaying this game in a in a different kind of way than you're used to, it's... it's alright. Okay, be careful to drop. Although, I'm pretty sure you could... still do what I think it does? It sure does. Jesus Christ. I did not notice you there. Okay. Wait. Oh. No! Fuck! I was trying so hard not to step into it! Ah. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> oh! It's a branch! What are you even aiming at, bro? 
Like, what is that? This gets us here. Oh, hello. <sighs> um, so now, now I want to go back. What is that even for? <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I... Right. Oh, shit. Well, actually... Reset now. Ah! It's alright. Guess we'll just go through one more time. No need to ding the bell. And the invaders are gone as well. What? This guy is gone as well. These guys, however, are not. But I think I'm just gonna... Just gonna go. Do not rest here. Right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So here's an easy way to get killed.
here's an even easier way to get killed. But, believe it or not, you can land on that. Just gonna be real careful. Okay. We didn't fuck it up. I remember fucking it up during Drunk Souls. Yeah, I got pretty drunk in here. <laughs> Looks like a pit of death. It does indeed. Okay. Speaking of death. Is this still here? Oh, it's over here. I think they removed the first one. The first one of these guillotines. No enemy? Really? Surrounded by fire, idiot! Oh, there was another one. Turn it off! Look at this, by the way. Isn't that cool? Let us rest. Let's level up. And let's kill the old king. I don't imagine they changed this boss fight. I mean, they maybe like tweaked it a little bit, but I doubt that they would successfully place a completely different boss in Is that, that a shark? arena. To see All right, yeah, However. we did. We did find an Estus flask shard. So that is gonna get us... how many? Two more. Alright. Okay. Uh... Gee, I don't know how many... Uh... You know what? We have some ambition, ambitious plans. For our equipment, so uh, let's let's get a little bit more load. Jeez, uh, this is so expensive to upgrade. I love that sword, though. It's very cool. Very cool. I'll be around if you make it back. Yep, fire seek seek last indeed. Actually, let me see you once again. Oh, anyway. People these days. People these days. Okay. So once again, the overall theme with these boss fights seem to be uh, that they're just generally way faster. Which could cause some issues with this boss fight, which is not normally very difficult. Right. 
Fuck me. <laughs> oh, really? They placed more of them? Oh. <laughs> well, that's slightly annoying. See how this goes. Yep, that's our boy. Does he normally have wings? I'm being kind of paranoid about this, but... Does he have wings normally? Or did they just make him even... They just make him even more like Balrog. Oh, they sealed this hole in the ground. I guess there was some leftover fire. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright. He seems to be moving a little faster. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think there was like a leftover from that earlier or from that previous fire attack still. And I just ran straight into it. Alright, let me just run from straight past them. This time there's no point in fighting them. Doing that, please. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Enough. Jesus. Great soul embrace. Alright. <laughs> yeah, normally there's a hole in the ground through which you can fall. Yeah, they even... Yeah, they kinda... Yeah. <laughs> I guess they made the, this boss fight a little less cheesy. I suppose. <laughs> I don't think that he, he moved a little, little faster than normally he does. Sublime bow. Oh, okay. That's, that's uh, not an upgrade for the Estus. What the hell? Oh, that is. <laughs> you could see the decor 
just kind of pop in. That's new. Uh, hang on. So, does it start here? These lands in ancient times was known to be the land of Alcan. Okay, this is new. But flame embedded the lands, water dried, all things were left burning. The kingdom succumbed to flame, and so did their monarch. All that was left of the old Iron King birthed Icarus Earth. A, di a disaster and a sin. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I think normally this is just a completely empty room with just a bonfire. So this is cool. Yeah, and this is the... that's the... Uh, tower, the... Broom Tower, whatever it's called, I think. Primal bonfire lit. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I see what they're doing. So my suspicion was correct, I think, and the uh, the snowy DLC is probably gonna get us eventually into the. To the giant spider, which is kind of odd. It's a, it's a weird connection. Proceed, bearer of the curse. It is the only choice left to you. New dialogue. Slightly. Uh. Do we want to start working on these? Yeah, sure. Although, faith gives us more dark bonus. Intelligence on my spell bonus. Alright. Uh, yeah. Let's do it like this. Yeah. Bearer of the sea. Those else? who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation. It happens to them all. That blue knight at the base of the tower. His spirit is, although he does offer, perhaps he. Right. Okay. Oh, I'd give you oh. a day. This is a big investment we're we're doing here. I'll be around. I'll be around. Make it back. So I guess it does like Ooh, it's way it's way lighter though. Ooh. Uh-huh. So we could wear something fancier. Not too fancy, though. <laughs> Mad warrior. That looks pretty hefty. Where's the... Uh... Oh. Can't wear that. Oh, that looks... Pretty sweet. We're too heavy for that, though. Something lighter. Arch crank. It's too heavy. Yeah, that looks silly. Alright. This looks fine enough. Ooh, I don't like these things on the... Oh. Okay. I don't like the things on the sides there. Yeah, that's the same. Ah, uh, ruined! <laughs> I 
I was just a ninja turtle. So too heavy. I mean, I kind of like the Mad Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool. Uh, do we have the Mad Warrior? I guess not. Yeah, the thigh parts were looking kind of. Uh, <laughs> They didn't like those. Oh my god, we're just slightly off. Oh. Can only wear those that I don't really love that much. I mean, we used these previously. Alright, now we're looking. Now we're looking pretty heavy. So this has a different... No, no, it has a... Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna have a different... Running attack? No, that's the same. So it's pretty... Oh, there we go. I think that's a different... Move. I wanna say... Yeah, the, the spin isn't as useful. This is way useful, I think. Yeah. Very useful for those like tight corners. Uh well halls really. Okay. Uh you know what? Since we are kinda close to it already, but then we get sidetracked by the by the old king. Let's try Sir Alon, actually. Although, actually, hang on, we could, uh, I think this is a better way to go there, or rather it will put us closer to it. So we go here. I like how we're looking right now. This is a, yeah, a nice hefty build right now. Battle axe. All you need to do is to forget about the prolapse shield and we look super cool. Right? Just don't think about it. It's easy. Oh, I forgot to burn the dust. Oh well. Maybe we would forget if you didn't mention it. Oh no no no! I don't think, I don't think me mentioning it or not has anything to do with it. Really, it's all all on you. You need to like find a, you need to find a, the the inner strength to forget. I'm I'm definitely not to, to blame here. Definitely, yes. Zaha ruined it forever for me. Nice. <laughs> oh. Ring of Blades. We're wearing that, but the worst variant. It's cool. I love how this sword looks. It's like, it's like heavy and yet elegant at the same time.
Fuck you, lizard! Oh, fireball spell. How fitting. Is there only one? No, there's another one over there. But that's it. They still tone it way down. And what is this? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure normally there's one salamander in each of these alcoves. It's kind of insane when you think about it. But, you know, the DLCs were meant to be difficult. Okay, let's back now. The only issue I have with it is that... The run to the boss was, like, kind of annoying because of this. One, uh... There we go. Alright. And we're cool. So, uh... Huh. We get to this boss fight with a bit of a shortcut, actually. So, here we go. I hear some clanking. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, it's... so, normally this is a, one of the f boss favorites from this game, I think. I like it a lot as well. Let's see if it's changed in any way. Sir Alon. Alright. Here we go. Probably way faster than normally. Yup. Uh, that felt fast. Holy crap, he's really fast. Oh god, yep. <laughs> Shit. Fuck me, he's fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is fast, alright. That's, that's, that's pretty quick. Uh, Jesus Christ, are we gonna have to do this every time? Use the humanity. Let's burn the bonus. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Right, so you have to burn it at Majula. Let's do that real quick. So that upgrades the amount we get healed from each Estus use. So it's also good. Uh, let's try if this is faster if we just like run through. It's probably not gonna be. But let's try anyway. I mean, the path is pretty straightforward. Wait, where the salamanders? Oh wait, that's it? Oh, I thought it was actually way further away. Oh. Okay, well never mind then. Let's go! Me, he's like so fast now. <laughs> now, granted, this is one of the faster fights in the in the game normally, but I think he's like way faster now. Thing is, Dark Souls 2 in general, in general, is like pretty slow. Definitely way slower than like.
like later games, like Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. So, uh, even faster fights like this are still generally pretty slow by comparison. Alright, that's the rhythm. Gotta get into the rhythm. This fight also has one of my, like, favorite soundtracks. Delayed! Fuck you for that! No! Oh fuck. Not again! Cool as always. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Echo Knight 11 cheered. Thank you, Echo Knight. X100. Admittedly, even though you can kind of see the influence already from the later games in this fight, admittedly, I think I still wish it would be a little more difficult than it is. I think because we, get, we just got used to like way faster pace in general in these fights. Especially from Bloodborne and, and Sekiro. I think these a lot of these even more difficult fights from uh, like earlier games aren't as challenging as they used to be. But it's still really cool. It's like, look at this pristine floor as well. Still cool. Not as tough as it used to be, admittedly. Alright. Oh, so you find... Is this normally the case? Do you find more smelter wedges in here? I kind of want to say it's not the case. So, yeah, you can see his armor here. The, the way this normally works, you find, like, his armor elsewhere in, the, in this DLC. And you get transported in here, which I think is implied is actually, like, I think because Sir Alon is supposed to be like uh, basically the the old Iron King's like right hand. This memory is supposed to be like a thing. <laughs> the theory is, anyways. This is like Iron King, like finding Sir Alon and like them fighting to death. So you're actually like reliving that memory. Or that is a thing. Because really, you find this armor, right? And it's just like stored in one of the rooms. And you get kind of transported into here. So I think it's implied that the old Iron King, the giant demon thing, eventually fought Sir Olon, even though before that they were friends. And then he stored his armor somewhere in his castle. And now you can access the, this memory. Anyway, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> bit of a lore dump for you. So that you understand a little better what's going on here. But it's interesting touch to, uh... <laughs> and then it leads... Okay, this is, this is just weird. Because now, now we're at the actual beginning of the Iron Keep. This is how you get here normally from the from the poison place, right? You take that elevator up. And that's where you ended up being. 
And that's how you actually like start this whole whole area. Uh, it's probably still burns, right? Yep, burns real hot, so let's not do that. And okay, so there's no bonfire here. So where's the? NPC invasion here normally. There it is. Holy fuck. No backstabbing, you bitch. strong. It's pretty... She can cause some issues. Strength ring? Does it just give you flat bonus into strength? I think that's a... that's a thing from like Dark Souls 3, I wanna say. Maybe not, maybe I'm mistaken. Increases the strength of its wearer, yeah. So this is kind of... So where is this gonna lead to? This? Oh! So now we... A okay. So now we can actually open this, and now that... Okay. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What the hell are you trying to hit? Alright. Is he still here? You know what? It's a good time to buy that uh, branch from him. Let's get that. Cheers. Cheers. Alright. Go back to Majula now. So we're not quite done with the fiery DLC. There's uh God, what is his name? The Fume Knight. Right. We still have that left. Bearer of the seek seek the lest this But you know, still a hefty progress has been made. Oh. Do uh Yeah. So this is a pretty good strength thing, it's pretty good opportunity to try the great sword thingy. Ugh. No, that's... So we still don't have enough. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to look up how many do we... Or how much, better. Um. Oh, well. Put the prolapse shield back on. There we go. Yep, that, that protects our uh, rear end, if you wish. Or our backside. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we're gonna obviously... Well, are we gonna... Yeah. Because I think it's gonna... I think the, the Uncharted Lost Legacy is gonna li line up... Uh, just right enough so that we... I'm gonna take the announced or rather foreshadowed break 
like a week long, not too too long, don't worry. <laughs> so, but I think we're still gonna do like a one last Sunday stream. I think. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Anyway, uh, the next stream is on Tuesday. Like I said, we're continuing Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I'm gonna see you until then. If you're not following the stream, follow the stream! Hit the button! Hit the little heart button. I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm gonna see you next time. Alright, thank you. Bye! Bye-bye.